Your doctor says you need to start taking a calcium supplement, but where do you start? Which one do you get? Which type? When do you take it? What are the potential side effects? I'm going over all of this, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician. All right, jumping right in. There are two main forms of calcium in dietary supplements that we're going to talk about today. Calcium carbonate and calcium citrate, okay? So let's start with calcium carbonate. Um, and uh, first of all, this is a very common form of calcium. You'll see this over the counter. You actually might recognize the phrase calcium carbonate because it's often found in over-the-counter antacids, things like Tums and Rolaids, right? So you've probably seen this, all right? But in in terms of calcium carbonate and how it needs to be taken, it's pretty specific in that you really need to take calcium carbonate with food. Yeah, it works better in an acidic environment, so it's got to be taken with meals. It's just absorbed best when taken with food. So you got to keep that in mind. And the other thing I want to tell you is that, um, you know, calcium carbonate sometimes can come with a decent amount of gastrointestinal uh, symptoms or side effects. Sometimes my patients complain of bloating or sort of a upset stomach or just sort of funny tummy, things like that. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but I just wanted you to know, okay? Now let's move on to calcium citrate because this is the other main form of calcium we're talking about today. Now, this sometimes can be a little bit more expensive than calcium carbonate, um, but a benefit of this one is that it's absorbed well on both an empty stomach and a full stomach. So you don't have to time calcium citrate to be taken only with meals like calcium carbonate. You can take it whenever you want. Well, not exactly whenever you want, but you know what I'm saying. Also, calcium citrate may be really good for people who have problems absorbing medications in general, um, you know, or, or people who have, uh, who've had intestinal bypass surgery, or maybe people who are older, et cetera, um, might benefit more from calcium citrate than calcium carbonate. And I'll also go back to the point that calcium carbonate sometimes gives people like gastrointestinal symptoms, like tummy symptoms. Sometimes people who take calcium carbonate simply can't take it and have to switch to the citrate form because they just have less symptoms. So keep that in mind. Now, there are other forms of calcium, calcium gluconate, calcium lactate, calcium phosphate. There might be others, but they have, uh, the, at least the three I mentioned, have less calcium uh, than the carbonate and citrate form. So when I'm telling a patient, I need you to take some calcium, it's carbonate calcium carbonate or calcium citrate that I'm really referring to, okay? Now, if you, and let me just make a comment about the side effects sometimes people get with calcium carbonate, the gastrointestinal side effects. If you get those, you could try, yeah, not only, uh, not just switching to calcium citrate, which we talked about, a uh, different type of calcium, but you could also try taking smaller doses more often during the day. That's something you could try as well. So now let's go to the dosing because calcium is best absorbed when you take 500 milligrams, I mean, some sources say 500 to 600 milligrams, but around that level, five to 600 milligrams or less at one time. Like, let's say your doctor says you need to take a thousand milligrams of calcium a day. Well, you need to take smaller doses twice a day um, or more than twice a day. You, you, don't, you can't take it all at once. You don't want to, okay? So the maximum dose you want to take at a time is like five to 600 milligrams. And then finally, there are some medications you got to be careful about taking your, your calcium with. Now, this is not an all exhaustive list, but it's a few things you should keep in mind. You shouldn't take calcium with your thyroid medicine, namely Synthroid or Levothyroxine, okay? You don't want to take calcium with iron. We don't want to basically impede the absorption of these other things by taking the calcium. So you don't want to take them at the same time. Um, also, uh, calcium can lower the absorption of bisphosphonates, which is an osteoporosis medication, can lower the absorption of um, some seizure medications, certain antibiotics, certain blood pressure medications. Now, if you're wondering, oh my gosh, how am I going to keep this all straight? Remember on your medicine bottle, like if you're taking iron or seizure medications, or whatever, it will say, don't take it with the calcium if that's what it means. So just keep that in mind. If you also have questions about how really to take your calcium, the pharmacist is a really amazing resource, a really amazing source, okay? Um, and also read labels on what you buy, uh, but check with your pharmacist as well. Uh, and just remember if you get like the, the bloating, the gas, constipation as, as sometimes can happen, especially with calcium carbonate, you've got options. You can switch to a different formulation. You can try taking uh, smaller doses throughout the day, etc. There's a few things you can try. Just make sure you talk to your doctor about it if you're not able to get some resolve with that. So I hope this is helpful. This is not, again, all exhaustive, but it's a start for you figuring out how to take your calcium, what to kind of look for and think about. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you take calcium, what calcium you take, uh, what your doctor has recommended, um, I would love to hear. Um, if you've not liked and followed my page on Facebook, please do on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Go to my website, drjencoddle.com to subscribe to my free health newsletter, uh, which comes out weekly. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. Love y'all.